Every morning, just like clockwork, the Fulton Ferry paddles away from the dock to pick up supplies on the other side of the harbor and bring them back. It usually makes this trip several times a day, except that this morning, something is different. Attention, all tots! We have a problem, and I need your help to solve it. Sure thing, Captain. No problem. What's going on? Well, the Fulton Ferry is missing. Missing? What? How could that be? We saw it leave an hour ago. I know, but it hasn't returned, and no one's seen it since. Then where could it be? What could have happened to it? That's what I need you to find out. Look in all the usual places, and anywhere else you can think of. Don't worry, Captain. We'll search every fathom of this harbor. We'll peek in every pier. And peer in every peak. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. <laughs> this is serious business, Top Hat. The quite right, Captain. You can count on us. Aye, aye, Captain. We're heading out now. Use all your skills and special talents to find that ferry boat. As the tugs scan the harbor, Big Stack sees Grampus and pulls up alongside. He tells Grampus about the missing ferry. You told the right boat, Big Stack. I'm the only one that can dive underwater. So you look on the top, and I'll look on the bottom. Meanwhile, Top Hat looks for the ferry in the nearby canal. I say, that tanker wasn't here yesterday. Good thing I'm tall enough to see over it. Ahoy! Fulton Ferry! Are you there? Hmm. Not here. Knowing that every second counts in an emergency, Sunshine uses her speed to race outside the harbor and talk to a tanker anchored there. Oh, where, oh, where has the ferry boat gone? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? Morning, mate. I'm looking for the Fulton Ferry. Any chance it wandered out here by mistake? Haven't seen it, huh? Well, if you do, give us a two. <laughs> I know this harbor like I know my own stern. If anyone can find the ferry, it's me. <laughs> the only thing better than experience is more experience. Sunshine and Ten Cents meet up in the port and try to think of other ways to find the ferry. Use your imagination, Ten Cents. That's your special talent. You're right. And I've got an idea. They rush over to see Sally Seaplane, who's revving up for her morning flight. Sally, we need your help. You can look for the Fulton Ferry in a way no one else can. You're a plane. You can fly. You can see the whole harbor at once. And all the canals! Just by flying over them and looking down. Sally says of course she'll help. She spins her propellers and takes to the sky. Let me see. When Sally returns from her flight over the harbor, she has exciting news to report. She saw a funny kind of shadow moving around under the water, right near the ferry dock. What if it's the ferry? But why would it be underwater? Sally couldn't see what it was doing, but she could see it wasn't hurt. We'll tell the others. Thanks for your help, Sally. Everyone gathers at the ferry dock to investigate the strange shadow under the water. Yes! Now I see it! It looks like the ferry, but how can we be sure? Ah, uh, leave it to me. Fulton, it's you. Of course it's me. Grampus found him! What are you doing down here? I lost a part of my paddle wheel. What are they saying? After my crew left, I thought I could get it myself. Tell him to come out. Bring him up, Grampus. But now, my engine's flooded and I can't get up. I get the crane. Fulton's not hurt, but he's stuck down there. Prepare for rescue! Working quickly, the tugs set up cranes and grapple hooks. They secure one end of a rope to Ten Cent's bow and the other to the submerged ferry. And with a heave and a ho, 